Hey, it's Josh here from Vans and I'm just putting together this preview video walk around for you on this Honda CRV. Now, what I tend to do in these videos is just a general preview of the interior, the exterior and the spec on the vehicle. If you do get the end of the video and it looks like a sort of thing you're looking for, just let us know. We'll then put together a further in-depth video walkthrough that will cover any and all imperfections in a bit more detail. So let's jump in and tell you a little bit more about the car. Now, first things first, what a spec on this car. It is probably hands down the best spec car I've ever driven. Um, so I'll, I'll, get into, I'll get stuck into that as I go around the vehicle. Uh, finished in a lovely colour grey, of course it's on a 23 plate, so it's got years left on the uh, Covered only 8,500 miles. Usually I'll do a further in-depth video walk round, but I probably don't even need to on this, it's in pristine condition. Um, okay, getting stuck into your front end. So um, you've got front parking sensors on this model, okay? Comes with 18 inch, I believe they're 18 inch alloy wheels. Have a quick look for you. 18 inch alloy wheels they sort of like a, a an anthracite gloss with a polished finish comes with side steps a standard with it being the spec uh bridgestone doula tires all the way around um all-wheel drive it's of course a hybrid electric vehicle a reverse parking sensors you've got reverse camera on there as well and then on your near side as you can see just a really stylish looking car but I think it really, really comes to life when you jump into the interior. Um, now, you've got a sliding panoramic roof, which is not open at the moment, but I'll show you that shortly. Jumping into your interior, okay, comes with a full black leather interior, and as you'd expect, it's in exceptional condition, okay? You have a couple of different options to adjust the, dry, the passenger seat here, okay? You've got your CRV mats there, all still looking in pristine condition. I'll touch on the spec of the driver's side shortly. Jumping into the back then, okay? Um, so... Heated seats in the back, heated outer seats, okay? So there's the button for that. You've got chargers in the back here, USB chargers, okay? Isofix on the two outer rear seats. You do have a little pull down then for your armrest and cup holder for rear passengers, okay? Jumping into the back then, she's got an electric tailgate there. Plenty of boot space, okay? You got your parcel shelf. Sorry about that. So there's your parcel shelf, as you can see, and then you've got all carpet there, lashing points and everything. You do have a little power out, output there, 12 volt power output, little handles to pull the back seats down. Stick this back in place though. Okay, and you got your button there. Jumping onto this side then, just a similar story as you'd expect. Real nice design on the seats, or a pattern on the seats. I think they look really stylish, very modern. And then let's jump into your interior. Now, what I tend to do with this part of the video is just a quick fire of all the spec, but with it being so much, just bear with me. And of course, if there's any bits I miss, just let me know. So before we get in, electric windows found here, okay? Power adjustable and power folding wing mirrors. Now you've got electric adjustable driver seat that has memory settings, two memory settings, okay? Let's put that back a minute. Here's your view of your driver seat there with our sliding panoramic roof, which is lovely, especially on days like this. Okay, before we get in then, so you have a heads up display, okay, which is currently closed, but then I can adjust your up and down on that so it's in your line of sight. Uh, lane departure warning, pre-collision assist, your parking sensors. Now this one, I don't really know, I think it's heated windscreen, but um, it seemed to have a wiper on it, but heated windscreen, I believe, electric tailgate, and then of course your traction control. Now it's keyless start using this little button here, so foot on the brake, and of course we're up and running there straight away. Okay, there's your heads up display coming up, okay. And then I don't know whether you can see it, but here we go, let's zoom in. You've got a couple of different options to play with there, okay? So there's your heads up display. Now in terms of your spec then, okay, so you've got a full multifunctional steering wheel, okay? So you have a full interactive dashboard here, which you can go through your options on the steering wheel controls. Heads up display options are found here, okay? So you can flick through whether you want it to be, um, I don't know whether you can see it, but to give you an example, you've got miles per hour, you've got your hybrid mode, you've got your compass, you've got your signage for 20 mile an hour. Um, cruise control and adaptive cruise control in fact and speed limiter settings heated steering wheel and then this one here i believe that's going to be self-drive capabilities or self-steering on the motorway okay you can see the little hands on there on your left hand side then so that's how you navigate through your you use this to go through your sort of media settings there voice command and then you've got this little button to go through your interactive dashboard okay to show different options there as you can see automatic lighting um, and then you should have some automatic uh, windscreen wipers there as well. Now moving on to your centre console then, okay? So it's fully touchscreen. 
Now, I believe that it comes with um, wireless Apple CarPlay, which I can show you, I can confirm it, but I'm sure that that comes with wireless Apple CarPlay because I have seen it somewhere. Uh, smartphone. But if it doesn't, it is normal CarPlay, okay? But anyway, let's move on from that, okay? So you can see your different settings there. You have sat-nav, you have phone settings, you have DAB radio, FM, AM radio, okay? Bluetooth, media, and phone connectivity as well. Your climate settings are found here. You have automatic climate control. You have, of course, the all-important air conditioning. You have heated seats on your driver and passenger side there, okay? Onto your driving settings, you do have sport mode. You've got your electric mode, electric vehicle mode, okay? Automatic um, sort of uh, electric handbrake. Your little buttons to drive here are mental. I've never had these, but they're literally a push of a button. Pull down for reverse. There's your reverse camera then, okay? And then if you stick it into drive, it's your reverse camera. So you've got a couple of different options as well. You've got your curb and things to look. So a couple of different displays on there as well. Stick it back into park. Coming down then, uh, two USB ports again for charging. You do have a wireless charger here as well with an on and off button. I've never noticed, but wireless phone charger there. Cup holders, adjustable um, armrest there as well, okay. Sliding panoramic roof, loads of options up here. So you've got your blind on a separate switch. But as you can see, that's all fully operational. But yeah, um, I may have missed some bits of spec, but of course, if there's anything that uh, you want me to check, feel free to let me know. But uh, what a vehicle, really, really impressed. So let me know your thoughts. And of course, anything further I can do to help, just give us a shout and I'll be more than happy to cover in a further video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, bye-bye.